Hi there, can you sing the hello song with me? Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, hello, I'm fine, how are you? My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus loves me. My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus loves me. Oh, I hope you're having a great day. I have a question of the day for you. Do you ever walk around outside and have you ever, ever seen a butterfly fly past your nose? as you were walking. Sometimes you can go to a butterfly garden at a zoo or something, but butterflies are all around us, even just in nature when you're walking around. Have you ever seen a butterfly just flying around? They're so beautiful. My answer to that question is yes, I have seen a butterfly flying around. They're so beautiful. Today, we're gonna to talk about butterflies. And we're gonna start out with a little game. Do you see these butterflies? They're only half butterflies. And I want to tell you about butterflies. I'm going to use a big word. The word is symmetrical. Butterflies are symmetrical. That means that if one wing looks like this on one side, it's going to look exactly the same on the other side. If a butterfly has a wing with a spot, on the other side, it will also have a spot. It's called being symmetrical. And butterflies are symmetrical. So I need you to help me find the match for each half. Here we go. We'll start with this one. Look what I see. This butterfly is blue and has blue wings and a little bit of black on top. Can you point to the one I see that should be the match? Ooh, I think you found it. I'm going to put it together and see if you're right. All right, let's see. Did you find the match? Do you see that how it's symmetrical? Same on both sides. Nice job! Okay, now a tricky one. This is a brown one that actually looks like a moth because it looks like it's fuzzy. Do you see a brown one here? One that would match? Point to which one you think matches. The one that's symmetrical. Oh, I'm going to see if you're right. Let's see if you're right. I'm going to put it together. Here we go. Did you get it right? Nice! Good job! Do you see how it's got circle here, circle there, circle here, circle there? Symmetrical. Nice work. Okie dokie. <clears throat> I think I'm going to give you a tricky one now. This one is tricky. It's black and orange, and there are two butterflies that are back black and orange. So you have to look and see which one would be symmetrical. Oh boy. Can you point to which one you think it is? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put it together, and then you can see if you're right. Do, 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 do. Did you guess this one? I mean, this one was very close, but this one is the one that's symmetrical. Same on both sides. See how it's got some white spots and white spots on the other side. Symmetrical. Wow, nice job. Okie dokie. How about an easy one? You want an easy one this time? How about this one? It's yellow. Do you see the one that's symmetrical? Well, let's see if you have it right. I'm going to put it together. Da, 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 da. You did it! Look at orange on the bottom, some black on the top. Nice work. Okie dokie. I'm going to pick the other orange one. Do you see? Do you see which one is the match? Now look if you put it up to there. Is that symmetrical? No. But if I put it up to this one, Nice. Perfect. Well, the last one's going to be very easy. It's the only one left. Let's see if it's symmetrical. Oh, it looks like it is. Do you see even the blue down here? Same on the other side. Wow. 
Nice work today. That was a very good game. Today I have a great story and it's called Are you ready? Do 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 do, do. <gasps> Pete the Cat! I love Pete the Cat. It's called Pete the Cat and the Cool Caterpillar. Do you see Pete starts with a P? Cat starts with a C. And cool caterpillar starts with C's too. So listen to the sound. Cat, cool caterpillar. Ka, ka, ka. Makes a ka sound. The C does. Nice. This is written by James Dean. James Dean is the author if he wrote the book. And he did. Pete is on a bug safari. He and his friends are looking for bugs. How many bugs are they going to be able to find? Oh boy, we'll see. Callie spots a tiny black ant. It's building an ant hill, hill she says. Groovy, says Pete. Gus finds a round red ladybug in the mint patch. It has nine spots, said Gus. Nice, said Pete. Remember, Pete's so chill. She likes to hang out. Marty sees a big black spider. Oh, it caught a fly, he said. Neat, said Pete. Pete finds a green caterpillar in a flower pot. I will bring it home to show my mom and dad, he thought. Ooh, he even has a magnifying glass. Do you have a magnifying glass at your house that you can hunt for bugs? I bet you do. If you got a bug packet from St. Paul, there was definitely a magnifying glass in there. Mom helps Pete build a home for the caterpillar. They use a big bug jar. Dad puts lots of little holes in the lid for air, and Pete puts the caterpillar in the jar. Ooh, everyone looks happy, even the caterpillar. Pete puts some leaves in the jar for the caterpillar to eat. He adds a twig for it to crawl on. Well, that's pretty nice. Good night, Pete, says Mom. Good night, Pete, says Dad. Good night, caterpillar, says Pete. When Pete wakes up, the caterpillar is gone. <gasps> Where did it go? Did it run away? It's not gone, says Mom. It did not run away, said Dad. Take a look. Ooh, you know about this, because we saw this with our caterpillars that Mrs. Simaristi got. Awesome. The caterpillar is inside, says Mom. It's called a chrysalis. Will it stay in there forever, says Pete. Oh, no, says Dad. The caterpillar's changing into something new. What is that called when you start as one animal and you change into another? It's called metamorphosis. And that's what's happening to the caterpillar. Other animals go through metamorphosis, too. What, ladybugs? Tadpoles turn into frogs. Yep. What will it become, asked Pete. Well, that's a surprise, says Mom. We must wait and see. You already know. Pete waits. Callie comes to visit. Did it come out yet? Not yet, says Pete. He waits some more. Gus comes to visit. Did it come out yet, he asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits even longer. Marty comes to visit. Did it come out yet? Not yet, said Pete. Do you see that his ears are starting to fold over because he's getting frustrated? Pete waits and waits. And wait some more. Wait, wait, wait. Then one day, something finally happens. What does it look like happening here? There's wiggling. 
It's like the chrysalis is starting to move. Oh boy. A head pokes out. Then some legs. Then two colorful wings. The caterpillar changed in to a beautiful butterfly. Whoa, says Pete. Is he surprised? He is surprised. I bet you weren't surprised because you already knew. The butterfly slowly moves its wings up and down and up and down. It is now ready to fly. They take the jar to the park. Time to say goodbye, says Dad. And Pete opens the lid of the jar. It's always good to let those animals go if you have them. The butterfly, butterfly flaps its wings. It flutters out of the jar and lands right on Pete's nose. That tickles, he says. Then the butterfly flies up to the sky. Goodbye, butterfly, everyone says. Do you think the butterfly gave him a smoochie on his nose? Let's find a new caterpillar, says Pete. Change is pretty cool. Oh, is he trying to find another one? Who oh, did he find one? Oh, boy. I think he's going to find more caterpillars and take care of them. Well, I have another game. And you know what? I know you're good at this because we've done this before many, many times. But today, I have caterpillars. And we need to make a pattern from these caterpillars. Do you see? Here's the head. And then we have blue, red, blue, red. Do you know what comes next after the red? Blue, red, blue, Red. What comes next? If you said blue, you're right. What comes after blue? Come on, you've got this. You know how to do patterns. That's right. Red is next. Then what? Oh, blue again. That's right. What comes next? Red is right. Wow, you did a good job. Should we move down to the next one? Here's a pink head. Green, pink, green, wait a minute, green and blue, pink and orange, green and blue, pink and orange. Do you see the polka dots? Let's talk about the polka dots. Green polka dot, orange polka dot, green polka dot, orange polka dot. What comes next? If you said green polka dot, you're right. What comes after that? If you said orange, you're right. Then what? Come on, you remember. Yep. Green and orange is right. Yes. Nice pattern. Okay, last one on the bottom. Then we're moving to tricky ones. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. What comes next? Did you say purple? You're right. Then what? Come on. You're so smart. Yellow is right. What's after yellow? Purple. And then what? Yellow is right. Look how smart you are with your patterns. You did a great job, but now I have tricky patterns for you. Not so easy this time. You're going to have to use your brain and your noggin. Can you do it? Here it comes. Oh boy. Brown, brown, red. Brown, brown. Hmm. Tricky. Brown, brown, red. Brown, brown. Red is right. Now what comes next? This is what's tricky. Brown, brown, red. Brown, brown, red. Then what? Brown. Oh, but then what? This is what's tricky. And another brown. You've got it. And then what? Another red. Yes. Nice. Brown, brown, red. Brown, brown, red. Brown, brown, red. Nice job. Let's do it on the next one. Pink, pink, black. 
pink, pink. Did you say black? That's right. Pink, pink, black. Pink, pink, black. Then what? Pink, but this is where it gets tricky. What comes next? Then another pink. That's right. Two in a row. Pink, pink, black. Pink, pink, black. Pink, pink. Black is right. You are patterning good kids. You're amazing at this. This one has a yellow head, but then look what it has. Green, green, purple polka dot. Green, green. Do you know? Purple polka dot. That's right. Green, green, purple polka dot. Green, green, purple polka dot. What comes next? Oh, two greens is right. One, two. And then that purple polka dot. Uh-oh. Do I have any purple polka dots left? I do. Wow. You're amazing at doing patterns. I'm so proud of you. Nice work. It's time for us to go. Let's sing the goodbye song together. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, to you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. May God watch over you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.